Hi Vibe Tribe, it's me, Celia, Celia Marie1243 on TikTok, on Instagram, and here on YouTube. If you are new to the Vibe Tribe, welcome. Um, here I'm going to be documenting my spiritual journey. Um, I'm really just trying to live my best life, you know? I'm going to be talking about ancient ways of living well and modern ways of living well, meshing the two, and really just figuring out what works for me. So this is a tarot pick a card. The topic of today's tarot pick a card is what messages do your spirit guides and your angels have for you? Okay, so I know that a lot of people that I've been having my um, paid personal readings with have been a lot of the messages have been reach out to your spirit guides they're trying to talk to you so i really just felt called to um, give that opportunity to everybody to kind of see what it is that your spirit guides might need to tell you um, i would highly encourage you guys reach out to them if you feel comfortable especially after this hearing those things um so here we go we'll get into the pick a card Okay, y'all, here we have the pile selection. All right, so go ahead, take a look. Just really use your intuition on what pile, really concentrate, maybe even ask your guides, meditate if you have to, ask your guides, your angels, what they have to say to you. What do you need to hear from them right now? Okay, so we have pile one, this is Dalmatian Jasper. Okay. Pile two, this is Lapis Lazuli. Pile three, this is Chrysocolla. Pile four, this is Howlite. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, so go ahead, take your time, pause if you have to. Um, really think about what it is that your guides want to say to you. We'll get into it. Hi pile one. So this is your guidance from your spirit guides. This is what they really want you to know right now. It's a good hair day, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, show my face while we uh, look at what they have to say to you. Okay, so first we have the nine of pentacles. It's in reverse. So I feel like for those of you who chose pile one, I'm feeling like you're not feeling the most fruitful right now. Maybe you're kind of feeling like, I'm hearing failure, maybe you're feeling like a failure or you feel like something that you've done has failed. Um, I'm hearing also failed communication, possibly. Um, your guides really want you to know that like you're not a failure, for one. But also, they've been trying to reach out to you. Maybe that's what this failed communication is about. Okay, it's going to resonate differently for everybody. It's general, but um, you see this little bird here? How it's like chatting to the lady? This is you. They're trying to talk to you, but this is in reverse. I feel like you're maybe you just kind of caught up in other things and you're not really paying attention to these messages that they are sending you. Oop. Okay. All right, so we got the King of Swords. All right, so for the King of Swords, I feel like this is your guides and angels really just encouraging you to think very logically about whatever it is that you're going through okay so if you you know you're going through this period of you know where you feel like you're not being fruitful something didn't work out your way i'm feeling like right you're feeling like a failure or whatever like i feel like you really just need to think about this very logically very logically but also look out for their messages because they're trying to help you on the intuition side of things does that make sense um yeah it's going to be a perfect meeting of the two a perfect balance of like logic and using your intuition and that's going to help you get out of this energy that you're in and then we have five of cups it's in reverse so I feel like for Five of Cups in reverse, I feel like um, maybe you're just being a little teensy weensy bit ungrateful. Ooh. See, and they don't they don't want you to feel like that because you have so much abundance and they love you so so much. Yeah, they they love you and I really feel like they don't want you to dwell on this thing. They don't want you to feel like a failure because you're not. 
okay? But it, I'm hearing like if you really just think about this very logically, but also listen to them and reach out to them for guidance, like you're going to be able to conquer this problem. You're going to have the strength to conquer this problem. All right, let's see what the Oracle cards. This is the T deck. Ooh, okay. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Okay, so I feel like this is something that they're helping you with. Okay, so maybe this um, Nine of Pentacles in reverse is kind of in regards to like something that you just, like a business matter possibly, uh, that you don't feel like went the best way. Uh, but I'm feeling like they're, they're going to help you. You are a shrewd, resourceful business person. They want you to remember that, okay? This, if, if you're having, like, problems with your business right now, like, if things seem kind of slow, this could be business, this could possibly be, like, entrepreneurship especially, um, let me know how it resonates for you, but, like, this will be abundant again. Like, if you went through a period where it was abundant and, like, this is kind of like a dry spot, it's going to be abundant again, Okay? And then we have kangaroo unsettled times Ooh. unsettled times need to plan ahead so i'm hearing like again with this king of swords right make sure that you're thinking about this very logically so that could include like a plan possibly a business plan if this is like a new business that you're about to um venture into if this is an old thing maybe kind of like look back through some of your old like paperwork things like that make sure that you are planning everything make sure everything's organized is what i'm hearing because that might be where some of this is coming from you feeling like you failed like just make sure everything is organized all right i want to get one more of these tea cards about it and then i will also pull um a card from the work your light deck and also the uh, angels and gemstones guardians because those are really good advice cards if you guys have been on my tiktok um i go live every wednesday at 7 p.m hawaiian standard time and um we do just general reads i like to use those as advice cards so let's see what else they have to say to you okay yoke feeling tied down or frustrated okay so they're telling me like you're feeling frustrated you're feeling really tied down in this situation. Maybe there's like some kind of contract that you don't want to be in. Um, yeah. Like maybe, maybe you're thinking about quitting your job because like it just hasn't been going well. Um, so let's, let's get some messages on, on that. Let me pick this back up. <laughs> okay. But they do. They love you. They want you to know that they love you. They've been around you. They. I don't know if you've been getting these messages. To me, it seems like you haven't. They've been trying to talk to you for sure. So let's see what else they have to say to you. Can we please give us some guidance? What do they need to know? A little reminder. What do they need to know? What's some advice? What advice? Okay. Two different things came out. I'm going to go ahead and take this one because it kind of like you still see it knock around that one a little bit Ooh, okay all right cool we got it boundaries where do you need to establish better boundaries that's excellent advice so i feel like maybe you're feeling like this in whatever situation you're in maybe the reason why you feel like you failed or possibly are just struggling in whatever venture it is that you're going through, you haven't been setting proper boundaries. I'm feeling like with people especially, but this could be anything. See how all of these hands are like reaching into her? This is somebody who has set her boundaries. She's like, uh-uh, nope, stay away from me. I'm not having it, okay? So they want, and if you have been doing this, like I'm hearing like, good job, but for a lot of you, I think this is more just a reminder that you need to if you haven't been set those boundaries with people this could be with your boss this could be with your kids this could be with your spouse um in what area whatever area you feel like it is that you need to set boundaries make sure that you do that because if not like i'm feeling like i'm hearing they're gonna suck you dry <laughs> like 
it's gonna suck your energy and you're just gonna continue to feel like you're failing at things and I don't want that for you and they don't want that for you okay you really need to just stand your ground if if you need to say no to something don't feel bad for it okay really listen to your intuition ask your guides for help for strength if you need it okay to set these boundaries because like this is really messing with you the fact that so many people are like kind of dipping into your energy or possibly i feel like you're also listening to a lot of outside opinions and you're not necessarily listening to what your intuition or your logic right like your paperwork and stuff like that you're not necessarily listening to those things they might just be too many outside sources all right so they want you to know that okay I'm going to pull this other card. I really like these because each of them have a crystal or a gemstone on them. It asks you a question about yourself. You kind of are forced to kind of confront that and then think about how it works. Okay. Ooh, tiger's eye. So pretty. I've been pretty drawn to tiger's eye lately. Okay. Are you envious of someone else's good fortune? Ooh. are others jealous of you Ooh. replace jealousy with happiness for another's good fortune blessings are being received all around anyone can create the same blessings with true and pure intention it's up to you so i feel like this kind of just refers back to this five of cups in reverse right um they don't want you to feel kind of like sorry for yourself like they don't want you to focus on i feel like you might be focused on this like spilt milk you know what i'm saying and you have two perfectly good cups right here and they don't want you to feel like this all right and maybe you're jealous right maybe you're feeling jealous of somebody else's two cups maybe you're jealous of somebody's love you're seeing everybody in relationships possibly or you're seeing people's like businesses thriving and you're wondering like oh how come i don't have that it's just not your time okay and don't be envious just be happy for those people because you don't know what they've been through to get there does that make sense like there's a lot of layers to everyone's journey and you really have to trust that the layers that make up your journey are going to be the best tasting cake i don't know why i felt like i said if some of you guys like doing like a cake business or something like that if you are let me know i love cake <laughs> um okay so yeah are you envious of someone else's good fortune are others jealous of you okay so i think this has to do with this boundaries card as well okay are others jealous of you make sure that you aren't you know giving away too much of your you know i would say like secrets or like you know just um just be careful because not everybody who is around you always has your best intentions that's in mind right that's not to say you know like be super skeptical of everyone just use your intuition okay be able to decipher who around you is for you and who around you might not be for you might be for themselves but it also says replace jealousy replace jealousy with happiness for another's good fortune okay so just be happy for these people like i said like there's layers to everybody's journey okay blessings are being received all around and the fact that it's not happening for you right now or you're going through this little spat in your business or what have you possibly relationship like it's meant to be like this they're letting you know it's meant to be like this it's supposed to happen like this it might feel a little crazy right now but things will get better and you just have to be grateful okay you just have to be grateful and remember that whatever is happening for you in your life right now is a blessing whether it feels like it or not okay anyone can create the same blessings with true and pure intention it's up to you so maybe you just really need to get your own ish together okay they're telling you like you have the ability to have what others have as well so don't sit here and be jealous of what people want and then not do anything about it okay really go out there make your plans think about this logically reach out to them because they've been trying to talk to you okay get in touch with your intuition and really go for it don't feel tied down don't feel frustrated just go into this with a plan because you are a, you you are shrewd and you are resourceful 
especially in business okay take that how it resonates um this is general so i want to i definitely want to hear um for people who are resonating with this pile what kind of situations you're in and um make sure you guys thank your angels as well okay just want to thank all the angels all of the guides who were with me while i was pulling these messages make sure you guys thank them and uh let me know let me know how this resonates with y'all okay hope you guys have a good one hey pile two the lapis lazuli crew i'm not a rapper but um okay so let's get into what your angels and guides want to say to you okay so we have the eight of pentacles it's in reverse interesting okay let's see what the next card says okay seven of cups it is upright emperor we have the emperor upright okay so from this spread i'm seeing maybe maybe you haven't been working as hard as you should on something yeah file two okay so yeah with this eight of pentacles maybe you haven't been putting work into something that you've been doing like you have but like maybe not as much as you could and i feel like you already know that mm, that's some tea honey take a water break Don't shoot the messenger, that's me. Um, okay, but I feel like you also kind of have a lot going on. So it's understandable why you might not be putting a thousand percent into, you know, something. Because you do have a lot going on with this Seven of Cups. You're dealing with a lot, a lot of things. This could possibly be a lot of uh, love interests. Okay. And then we have the Emperor. I feel like they really just want you to step into your power. Like, step into your power because... And I just, I feel like these, these messages that I give you guys, these ones are specifically channeled from your angels. A lot of them are. And your guides. Um, my guides, my angels, divine, the universe, everything. But I feel like these are a lot of... I want to say every time every time that these messages come out they're things that you already know these are just like confirmation messages for you okay so i know this is resonating for y'all um you might just not be putting as much effort into something as you know you could and like this is your invitation from your angels from your guides to really step into your power to remember who the heck you are okay and get it done because you can and they know you can and you know you can all right even though there's a lot going on they are very very confident in your ability to get things done they are okay let's look at these oracle cards okay oh okay <laughs> interesting all right so we have the camel this isn't the one i was laughing about you guys will see in a second camel persevere and you will overcome problems simple right just keep going keep going and I just feel like like I said don't shoot the messenger okay I just feel like uh work a little bit harder because you know that that is going to help you get into this emperor energy there's something you've been slacking on and like it's like they know like they keep bringing me back to this card and they're like we know you have a lot going on but like you can handle it they're saying, like, we wouldn't let you, like, deal with anything that you could not handle. We know you can do it. Okay? So just keep, just keep going. Persevere and you will overcome problems. Okay? And then with the Seven of Cups too, remember I said this might be, like, a lot of different, like, love offers or, like, love situations. A lot of people who might be, like, you know, you trying to choose from kind of thing. Um, we have the rabbit. It says too much concern with sexual matters okay so some of y'all might be uh all these cups might be different people or different things related to this so they're saying like chill out a little bit okay don't focus so much on that 
Like I said, don't shoot the messenger. It might not all be with the partner either, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so let's do ooh, <laughs> one more card. Okay, disappointment in some affair. So I feel like, okay, so this might be why you are in this Eight of Pentacles. Like, this is why you're not working as hard on something as you should. I feel like this could also be like shadow work for some of you guys. Some of you guys know that you should be working on like your darker traits of yourself, if you will, right? You should be working on like kind of going to therapy or like trying to improve those types of things and like you might not have been working as hard on it as you should and like that might be because you met some kind of disappointment okay but I'm here like the scissors right like I'm here and cut it out like I feel like your guides are very stern with you very stern <laughs> like okay cut it out like that's enough and I'm also hearing like cut it out too in regards to like this this stuff that we talked about okay like you're you're kind of like focused on the wrong thing okay put a little less energy into this and a little bit more energy into turning this upright you know working real hard to get this abundance to get this financial love what have you stability okay all right now i'm gonna pull some more oracle cards you guys know i love my oracle cards okay and we'll see what they have to say to you from this deck. This is the work. Your Light Oracle Cards by Rebecca Campbell. Oh, that almost came out. <laughs> These are really good. Oh, oh my gosh. These are really good advice cards. I feel like we need to take this one. Thank you for all the messages. We're just going to take one. Ooh. The great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe Ooh, we've been getting this a lot in um the general reads on tiktok right soul tribe you guys are coming into your tribe you guys are kind of okay this this is making sense okay so i feel like you guys are learning who who your tribe is you're you're becoming a lot more aware of yourself, they're telling me. Okay, you're becoming a lot more aware of yourself. You've like, I feel like you have come to like a recent kind of epiphany about who you are. You've possibly started like your spiritual journey, like your spiritual awakening. Um, and I feel like people are dropping out of your life like flies, possibly. And like, or it doesn't feel the same with some of your friends. Like, you're just not relating to them. That's because they're not part of your soul tribe. It's because they are not part of what is for your highest good at the very moment. Does that make sense? And I feel like for some of you, it's some of these partners that you're so concerned with. And you need to be careful of who it is that you are making soul ties with when you're doing these things. I, I don't know what, you know, YouTube's... So I'm not trying to get in trouble, you know, my YouTube channel is still fairly new. These are very, um, <laughs> these are timeless reads. So whenever you see them, this is when you're supposed to see them. But, you know, I'm just not trying to get in trouble by YouTube. But y'all know what I'm saying. Okay, but the great gathering, it's all coming together. So that's definitely going to resonate with a lot of you guys. All right, let's see what other advice they have for you. What else do they need you to know right now? That's good. I'm so happy for you guys that you're coming to your soul tribe. If this has not hit yet, I feel like it's about to. And I really strongly feel like if you are here right now, I'm probably part of your soul tribe. And some of the people who like frequent my like, you know, channels and pages and whatever, they're also part of the soul tribe, the vibe tribe. So welcome. I'm excited to have you guys. Okay. Mm. Are your emotions blocked? We have smoky quartz, sorry. Smoky quartz, really pretty. That's crazy because I was just thinking about getting smoky quartz the other day. Some called out to me. You know, actually, crystals and gems are always calling out to me. Has smoky quartz called out to you recently? I would like to know. 
If it has, please let me know. Um, are your emotions blocked? Are emotions preventing you from moving forward? Embrace your feelings, both positive and negative. Release anger and resentment. Watch your emotions be transformed into one that frees you to live and love fully. Okay? So some of you guys are having emotional blocks, and I feel like for some of you, it's really making sense again with the Seven of Cups card. Like, I feel like they really just keep calling me back to the Seven of Cups card. Like, you're going, you're going through a lot, or you have a lot of, like, partners to choose from. Let me know how that resonates. If you want. You don't gotta be out here telling your business. But maybe, um, shoot me a DM on Instagram, maybe. If you don't want to, like, put it all out there. But, um, yeah. Okay? So it says, embrace your feelings, both positive and negative. Like, it's okay to feel your feelings, too, guys. I don't want you to feel like you have to, like, suppress all of these things. But, like, really just, like, regulate them as well. Also, it says to release anger and resentment. I don't know. This was similar to pile one. Like, there was a, sh a small message in here. Pile one. So possibly you watched that pile as well. Um, I was dropping that card made me want to look at the back. So a lot of these cards have, or these cards have, like, kind of affirmations on the back, which I don't always get to, but I feel like you guys need them, okay? Um, this says, Angel of Transformation. I am free of emotional baggage like a butterfly that has emerged from a cocoon. I now enjoy a state of emotional balance. I fully appreciate this transformation and I continue to allow my feelings to make themselves known to me. So I feel like you are. You're dropping a lot of people. You're dropping a lot of things that do not belong to you, which is completely normal and highly encouraged in the beginning of your, you know, spiritual awakening. Okay? Especially if that's the situation that you're going through. Like, I always tell people, like, not everybody can go where you're about to go. They might meet you up there later. It might just not be their time. But you gotta do what you gotta do for you. You gotta find your soul tribe. Because those are the people who can go with you where you're going. Or are already where you plan to be. Okay? Different levels. And it's going to be a tough journey. It's going to be a tough journey. And I feel like you're going to need people who are going to be able to relate to you on a certain level. And some of the old people, some of some of the old people in your life, they're not going to be able to understand it in the way that, you know, your new soul tribe will understand it. So just know that your angels are definitely watching out for you. They love you so much. They want you to really focus get it together a little bit okay they saying get it together work a little bit harder because you know where you've been slacking that's going to be different for everybody but you know where you've been slacking they know that you are freaking busy or you got a lot going on if you know what i mean okay but they really just want you to step into this emperor energy and do what's best for you because you know what is best for you reach out to them if you need to too okay they love you they want to guide you all right, they sent you these messages, so let's be thankful for that. Thank you so much for all of the messages. We appreciate it, and we look forward to hearing more. Okay, so I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, night, whatever it is when you guys are watching this. Okay, <laughs> see y'all. Hi, Christ, a cold lust squad number three. Um, we have some messages from your angels and your guides, so let's get into it. Oh. Okay. Mm. Ace of Pentacles. It's in reverse. Interesting. Okay, we also have the King of Wands. Okay. And we have the Four of Wands. In reverse. Okay, a little bit of Earth energy. Fire energy. All right. So I feel like, uh, okay, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like some of you guys might have been spending a little bit frivolously. You might uh, have just spent money on something you probably shouldn't have spent money on. <sighs> okay, Pentacles, that's 
the the suit of like stability finances things like that it's in reverse uh, maybe you just haven't been doing a good job of saving your money. Maybe you're just going through a little bit of financial hardship. Okay. I feel like um, what your guides want you to do is really start being more intuitive about the decisions that you make um, in regards to finance especially. Okay. They want you to be a lot more intuitive like I'm hearing like fire I'm hearing like there's a lot of fire energy obviously this is the king of wands but maybe like I feel like maybe they're like challenging you to do something perhaps like maybe go for something that you've been thinking about possibly okay and I feel like you might have been thinking about it for a long time I'll possibly get some possibly get some clarification on that one. Um, but we have four of wands in reverse. So I feel like maybe you have an event or something coming up, and I feel like they're encouraging you like not to spend that much money on it. Okay? I don't know. That's gonna resonate differently for different people. I do want to get some clarification. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing like an event, possibly a wedding, um, just like a party or something. And they're like, don't like, just remember like your finances ain't been, ain't been that good. So like, better chill when it comes to, let's get some clarification on this ace, or not ace, <laughs> king of wands, please. Spirit guides of people who have chosen the price of cola. Pile. Could we just get some clarification on this King of Wands and also for the Four of Wands? Can we get some clarification on these situations? Let's see what it is. Like, I keep hearing fire. Fire in your belly. So maybe there's just like something that you, you haven't been going for that you should. Or maybe there's like a financial risk that you need to take. And they're not giving me any... Cards. You guys know I usually only take flyers. Those cards that kind of fly out. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Alright, I feel like this is making a little bit more sense. So to clarify the King of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. Some court card and the G. Queen of Cups, I feel like, um, yeah, like, I'm still getting that kind of, like, fire in your belly kind of thing. Like, there's probably been something that you've been, like, thinking about doing for a while that you feel like will improve your financial situation, but you haven't done it yet. But, like, you should. They want you to because you're going to be really good at it. Okay. Um, there might be multiple things, I feel like, for some of you guys, too. And, like, cups, that's your emotions. I feel like, really, like, I'm hearing follow your heart. Follow your heart, and you're going to get a lot of abundance from that. This is a really pretty card, too. Feminine energy. I feel like these also might be, like, very feminine guides or angels, if that resonates with any of you guys. Let me know. And then for the Four of Wands... We have the Nine of Wands to clarify that. So what I'm getting for that is like, you might have a lot of different things. I feel like, I still feel like this is kind of like something that you're about to do. Like something you're about to plan, an event possibly. Like I'm feeling, it's saying like pick one thing. Okay, like don't, don't go all out. Pick one thing maybe to splurge on, okay? Like, if, if you're looking to, like, spend a lot of money, like, just pick one thing. Don't break the bank trying to impress people or something like that, all right? This could be, like, an investment you're making. Um, like, an event, I feel like, for most of you. That's going to resonate a little bit differently, but that's that's what I heard, Okay. 
beware of self-delusion okay that makes sense with this four of wands and nine of wands like don't trick yourself into thinking you have more money than what you actually have okay oh my gosh yeah like self-delusion don't just yeah i feel like you guys are kind of being frivolous with your money and i'm i'm also hearing like dragon right we have dragon and we have the king of wands like don't convince yourself that you're not going to be good at this thing that you've been thinking about doing like self-delusion don't convince yourself that you're going to be bad at it because you're not they want you to know that okay and then we also have do not back down from opposition show strength and fortitude so maybe you've been having like we said you've been having a little bit of like this could also be um relationship issues as well i feel like for most of you it's gonna be financial though okay you've been having some like financial issues but it's saying like don't back down just because you're having a little hiccup doesn't mean you should you know cower in the corner about it like really step up to the plate really use that fire in your belly i'm feeling like you might need to approach somebody about something as well possibly somebody in a high position maybe your boss maybe your boss somebody who's like in a position of power or possibly like a very um intimidating partner perhaps like don't let them run all over you use your emotions Use your emotions, that fire in your belly. The fact that this is water, though, balance. Go into it in a very balanced way. But I feel like this, this is something that you've been thinking about for a little while, possibly. Okay? So don't back down if you're met with a little bit of resistance. Okay? Show strength and fortitude, and I feel like whoever this is will respect you for it. Make sense? Okay, let's get advice from this deck that came out please double mission channeling and uplifting humanity okay so some of you guys might be star seeds some of you guys are coming into this mission where you know that you are here to raise the vibes it says double mission channeling in uplifting humanity so perhaps this venture that you've been thinking about starting is really going to be helpful to humanity so that's why you need to get on it like they're like no like the, like the world needs you like the universe needs you double mission so, like, maybe you're doing one thing in, like, a certain field, perhaps, and, like, you're thinking about starting something in another field, and they're like, yes, do it, because it's going to help you. This is your purpose. This is literally your purpose. So, don't be self-delusional. Don't think that you can't do it or think that you're crazy for trying to do something that might be a little bit out of your comfort zone. Like, you have to go for it. And you are fully supported by them. They love you. They want to help you. Otherwise, they wouldn't be giving you these messages right now. Okay? Let's see what other advice they got for you. This is the Angels and Gemstones deck. I like to pull advice from this. Oh, oh my gosh. A card stuck out to me, but I'm not going to take it. I'm just going to let it. <laughs> Maybe they got a lot to say to you. Y'all saw how many cards came out. Maybe they got a lot to say to you. Maybe reach out to them. Not maybe, like reach out to them. If you feel called. Woo! That's crazy because these aren't the ones that... I was looking at but they're like the same color and I feel like they have the same gist of the card I was looking at the card I was looking at I think was um uh, what you call rose quartz I believe which is kind of around the same I'm gonna take both of these because they both came out wow oh oh guys 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm like over here ooing and aahing at the cards. I didn't even show you. Okay. So this is Rotocrosite. Okay. Do you realize that you are magnificent? Oh, tears. Yikes. Okay. Believe in your magnificence and embrace your power. What did I say? This. Look. This is you. Both. This could probably be you and a partner, possibly. Or it could just be you empowering yourself with both of these energies, all right? But you're magnificent. And they want you to know, like, they feel like you don't believe in yourself all the time, okay? Believe in your magnificence and embrace your power. Know that you are strong enough to set boundaries with others and assert yourself in a loving manner. It's so crazy because that's what we talked about. Some of you guys might be approaching some kind of, like, boss or possibly like a lover or you know significant other type of thing like don't back down set boundaries with others assert yourself but make sure you do it everything out of love is what this is a reminder of okay allow yourself to be who you truly are A loving magnificent being that's who the queen of cups is okay embody that energy love yourself and radiate love out to others and your angels want you to know that they love you as well and they want you to love yourself teensy bit more and really have faith in yourself that you can do these things okay I feel like that's that might also be what this overspending is i feel like you might be kind of like over overspending possibly or like not saving as much as you should because you're trying to like compensate for not feeling good about yourself maybe like i'm hearing um when you retail therapy like some of y'all might have been uh, i'm guilty of doing some retail therapy myself so i feel you but they're saying like you don't need those things don't turn to material things make sure that you focus on your spiritual self your emotional self and that's good enough that's gonna help you okay it says uh this is pink calcite something they also want you to know do you need more sweetness in your life are you gentle with yourself in your words and in thoughts i feel like this is another thing just about like confidence they, they want you to have confidence with yourself are you being mean to yourself are you thinking like not nice thoughts about yourself be in this queen of cups energy not just with other people but with yourself like you deserve it treat yourself with kindness cultivate loving friends family and environment okay this might be what you're doing as you are going into this venture right be your own best friend and the best friend you can be to others very clear message guys okay love yourself and i feel like that will help you to save a little bit more money right we all love when this is up right okay and whatever event or what have you that you're thinking about like spending a lot of money on like pick a small area don't do too much but you know maybe splurge in one area and don't go crazy with the rest all right let me know how that resonates for y'all okay make sure you thank your angels thank you angels and guides for being with us giving us these messages um so grateful and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Last but certainly not least, pile four. Drum roll. How light pile. Okay. Let's see. Let's get into these cards, honey. See what your guides and angels want you to know. Ace of Wands. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Temperance. Interesting. And then we have judgment in reverse. All right. So interesting because I feel like a lot of these piles are kind of resonating. So if you felt like picking more than one pile, you were probably right. So I would definitely go back and look at it. There's like small connections in between a lot of these. Um, Ace of Wands. I feel like you have not been feeling fruitful lately or like maybe you're just feeling kind of out of it 
Like you're not feeling like yourself, possibly, lately. Okay, maybe your confidence isn't the highest right now. Um, this could, like, you could have possibly gone through like a breakup or like a loss of some sort. I'm really feeling like I'm I'm hearing fruitful. Like you're not feeling very fruitful right now. Maybe you've started something and it's not going as good as you thought it would. But we have temperance, right? Sagittarius called. I'm a Sagittarius, for those of you guys who don't know. So, my energy's in the house. I feel like um, through this card, your guides and angels are trying to let you know. Be patient with yourself. Okay? Be patient with yourself because you deserve it. Okay? Be patient. You need... Maybe this is time for you to just pour a little bit of love into yourself. Alright? This has been a long journey for you whatever this is that you're going through, okay? See, this angel is pouring from one cup into another. Cups, water, like emotion, love. Okay, so pour, pour a little bit extra into yourself. They want you to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. You might be a parent or possibly like just a very devoted girlfriend, boyfriend, um, employee, husband, wife, possibly. But like, they're recognizing that like you've been a little bit out of it lately you're not feeling your best so you need to make sure that you concentrate on putting a little bit more love into yourself lately like you need to do that okay and then i feel like something might not be feeling fair to you something might not be feeling fair like something might have happened to you You might have lost someone, perhaps, and like it's just not feeling fair. Yeah. Okay, let's get your oracle. Work, achievement, success. The ant. Okay. So I think they want you to know, like, they want you to know that, like, if you continue to work on yourself you continue to give yourself this love that you need right now like you're going to you're going to achieve a lot you're going to have a lot of success in all that you do okay and i feel like okay here carrot opportunity or windfall you have something coming into you okay you have an opportunity coming into you and like i feel like this self-love is going to be very important for you to give yourself in order to prepare for whatever this is that's coming in. Let's see if we can get a little bit more on what is coming in for you, Pile 4. Let's see. Guides, angels of Pile 4 people, can we just hear... Ooh. Okay. Okay. Wow. Very interesting. Okay. So we have misunderstanding with the wall. And we have weeping willow, family sorrow. So I do feel like, wow, your guys' angels are very strong. Um, They're definitely here. Okay. Oh, but I feel like crying. So whenever I feel like crying, especially when, um, like, angels, uh, ooh, guys. Whenever angels and uh, guides are kind of near and I feel like crying that's usually kind of a sign to me of like love right uh, they want you to know that they love you if you've recently lost somebody specifically that person I feel like uh, those people are here wow and they really want you to know that they love you so much and they know that you don't think it was fair that they had to leave Ooh, guys sorry I wasn't expecting this um they know you don't think it's fair that they had to leave, but, like, they're okay, and you're okay. They're letting you know that, like, you need to just give yourself a little bit of love, okay? Maybe give yourself a little bit of time, a little bit of space to deal with things. Wow, and maybe you might have had a misunderstanding with this person before they left, okay? Okay? This might not have also, like, this might not have been, like, a death. This might have been, like, a breakup as well. And, like, maybe the angels of this person who kind of left is, um, 
the angels are kind of like around and like assuring you. Yeah, that could be. Ooh. Wow, guys. Lots of tears, lots of love. I want to hear more about this actually. Okay. Let's see. They really just want you to be so patient. So patient with yourself because you deserve it. Maybe you've, you've just been not feeling the greatest. Okay. Okay. So maybe... Okay, so we have lobster, financial pinch. Okay, so maybe you've been in just like a... A pinch lately with your finances. But if you have... Ooh, they are here. Guys, your angels and guides are very strong. This is the only... Um, you know, obviously I feel presences with all of the piles, but this one has been the most for sure. Um, so it says financial pinch. So maybe you guys are really struggling with money right now. It says a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Okay? And I feel like there's this path right here on this card. Okay? What does that look like? It's very similar to that, okay? So I feel like once you step into this energy where you're being very patient with yourself, maybe taking some time away from people kind of thing, okay, you're going to realize what this path with money is waiting for you, okay? And then it says lighthearted, carefree time. So don't be so hard on yourself. That might be kind of hard for you to do, but this is what your angels and guides want you to know. Like, don't be so hard on yourself. You're going to be okay. And they love you. Wow. Guys. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that at all. But, you know, the cards never lie. We're going for it. Wow. They have a lot to talk to you about, I feel like, too. So, if you haven't been reaching out to them, make sure you do that. There's a lot of um, guided meditations on YouTube. Possibly speak to them through prayer. Okay. How light pile. Whew. Let's see what they have to say. Mirror. Okay. Mirror. Who or what is triggering you? Who or what is triggering you? I feel like it's really just time for you to like self-reflect. Okay. Again with this temperance card. It's time for you to really just be patient with yourself and take time to reflect what is triggering you what is it that what is it that you don't feel like you're dealing with the best in this situation okay reach out to yourself pour into yourself you see how like remember i had pointed out the the cups pouring into yourself reach out to yourself i feel like a lot of you need to do some um shadow work Okay, figuring out what kind of things in your past have really triggered you into kind of this, you know, Ace of Wands in reverse energy, like not really feeling the best right now, not feeling like your most fruitful self. And this will really help you. And I feel like as you reach out and you reach into yourself, really what, what it is, is like reaching in to all of those like inner things. Like, I feel like your guides are going to be right next to you. Your guides and your angels are going to be right there next to you. Um, when you really put yourself in a vulnerable place, vulnerable place like that, some of you might be having communication issues as well. Okay, let me put some. <laughs> okay, so um, some of you might have been having communication issues, or you you might have been thinking about reaching out to your guides, but like you don't know what to say. Like, just reach out. That's what they're saying. Like, literally, just reach out. Like. They want to talk to you. They have a lot to tell you. You saw how many cards fell out earlier. Like, they want to talk to you. They have a lot to say. Don't feel weird about it. Don't stumble over your words. Like, really just speak from your heart is what I'm hearing. And, like, they know your heart, the universe, um, your guides, your angels. They know who you are. A lot of them have been with you for quite some time. They've been watching you grow into the person you are. They've been watching you through all of your ups and your downs in this energy they're here with you now they're here with me now they know that you're struggling they want you to reach out okay really reach into yourself which will help them and let them know that you're trying to help yourself 
and they are more willing to help you in that way. Okay. Wow. Okay. Appetite. Sorry. My light is like reflecting weird on that. Ooh, guys. My tear, my tear eyeballs are kind of, okay, sorry. So are you feeling agitated? Okay. Is there something you find hard to swallow? I feel like, again, that's like kind of grief. Um, again, this might not be death with all of you per se, you know, like a loss in that way. It might just be like a loss over a job, um, over, you know, a relationship possibly. Like you're just feeling a lot of grief. Okay, are you having digestive difficulties? So this might be messing with your stomach. Like your solar plexus area might be kind of off. Have you been getting like tummy aches and all that kind of crazy stuff? All right, pay attention to what you are thinking or talking about while you eat. Okay, I just did, I just filmed a video on how to talk to your water and how, sorry, this is not sponsored. Don't look at the thing, okay. <laughs> I was just, um, I just filmed a video. I'll be posting it like pretty soon before or after this, this video, but about how like everything around us receives vibration. So you need to make sure that you are talking, emitting good vibes into everything that you do because those things will affect you, especially the things that you are putting into your body or on your body, like water, food. Okay, pay attention to what you are thinking or talking about while you eat. Wholesome food, thoughts, and conversations can make it easier to process and accept. So I feel like some of you guys have been kind of like binge eating or maybe some of you guys have not been eating at all, okay? But they they see you, they're watching you, you're not having the best relationship with food and like your emotional eating and they don't want you to do that, okay? They want you to kind of step back, step back and really just give yourself love, okay? Because that's, that's part of it. Part of your self-love is giving yourself the proper nutrients whether you know you're eating too much or eating too little like they want you to kind of balance that out okay make sure that you're eating wholesome foods you're having wholesome thoughts and like you're really just in a more positive mood okay if you need help reach out to them you might need to reach out to like a therapist or something like that do some shadow work I'm working on doing some shadow work prompts that I've worked on myself They've really helped me to kind of get through some of the issues that I've had and really just analyze them, look at them from a different way so that I can have, um, you know, just a, just a different perspective on the trauma that I've suffered um, and how I've healed and, you know, the progress that I've made and the progress that I still need to make. So I feel like some of you guys need that. Um, feel free to message me on Instagram if, you know, you need some of that, like, sooner than later, um, or, you know, let me know in the comments if this resonates for you, how it resonates for you, if you feel comfortable, um, I feel like some of you might need to share this with somebody who you feel like this is their energy, like, they've been in this Ace of Wands in Reverse energy lately, like, some of you might have a friend who is going through this and they need to hear it. So definitely let me know if you share it with somebody. Um, wow, yeah. Wasn't expecting that. So your angels just want you to know, your guides want you to know. They love you so much. They want you to take care of yourself, okay? Because you deserve it, all right? They know that you're experiencing a lot of sorrow but they want this to be a really light-hearted carefree time for you because you deserve it all right and these financial issues that you're going through they're not going to last forever because this path with money is waiting for you okay but they really need you to step into this self-love energy before you can find it okay Wow, okay. Well, they just, they love you so much. Um, we thank them for the messages that they brought. And I know this is something a lot of you guys needed to hear. So um, make sure you subscribe, like, share. 
um, comment if you want and uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day night whenever you're watching this okay bye guys